Uh, in this video, we are going to see the design of pushdown automata. I have taken a language which describes the pattern a power n, b power m, a power n, where n and m values are greater than zero. Before seeing the logic how to design pushdown automata, I request my viewers to do SSLC, share, subscribe, like and comment. Okay, now let us look into the language pattern. L is equal to a power n, b power m, a power n. It means there is a sequence of a followed by sequence of b and once again further it is followed by sequence of a. The count of a's is the same which is to the left of b as well as to the right of b. I have created some examples which belongs to the language. a, b, a belongs to the language. a, b, b, a also belongs to the language. A, A, B, A, A, then A, 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 B, B, A, 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 etc. Only thing we need to take care that this portion of A and in this portion of A, the count must be the same. Now for this pattern of strings, we are going to design the pushdown automata. Just I am going to make a small demo. Those who do not know what is pushdown automata, please look into the video, Introduction of Pushdown Automata. Okay, in the input tape, I have kept a string or there is a string which belongs to the language a a b b b a a in the sense a to the a is present twice followed by three b's followed by further two a's. Now how to design the logic for this? There is a read write head which is pointing to the first character of the input tape and of course there is a a top pointer which is pointing nowhere in the beginning of this track because this track is empty right when it reads a whenever it reads a, a push down automata it is reading the input tape from left to right when it reads a yeah a, a is to be pushed down to the track so now this is the top of this track now the read write head moves to read the next symbol when it reads the second A, once again, another A is pushed down to the top of the stack. Till now, two A's are read by the push down automata and correspondingly, two A's are pushed down to the stack. Now, it starts reading B. When it starts reading B, there is no operation on the stack. It just keeps reading the B and moves in the right hand side direction. Now it reads the second B, after that it reads the third B and it continues to move. Once it starts reading the another uh, right hand side part of A's, whatever is available at the top of this track is to be popped out. So now this A is popped out. Now it reads the last A, that time the A whatever is available at the top of this track that is also popped out. Now it reached the end of the string. When it reaches the end of the string, we expect the stack to be empty. So, this is a logic of the uh, uh, PDA. This is in this way only we have to design the PDA. When it reads A's, push symbols onto the stack. Once it continues to read base, there is no operation on the stack. Once again, when it starts reading the A's, every symbol what is already pushed onto the stack needs to be popped. When it reads the end of the string, how do we know it reads the end of the string? It would be reading the epsilon at the end. When it reads the end of the string, the stack must go empty. Then only we can say the string what is kept in the input tape belongs to the language or the given PDA recognize the string. Okay. Now before writing the transition rules, I just want to tell the change of state also. In the beginning, push down automata once it starts reading the A, it is in the state Q0 and it continues to stay in the state Q0 itself till it reads B. Once it reads B, the state is changed to Q1 and it continues to stay in the state Q1 itself till it reads another A. Once it starts reading A, the state is changed to Q2 and continues to stay in Q2 till it consumes all the A. Once it reads epsilon and if the stack is also empty at the same time, it will enter into the state Q3 which will become the final state of the pushdown automata. So keeping this logic in mind, let us write the transition rules now. So already I have created the table. 
so this is a table right so the first column is the current state of the pda the input symbol what it reads from the input tape this symbol indicates what is available at the top of this track if this is the situation the last column indicates what is the change of the state and what is the symbol to be pushed or popped out of the stack so initial state of the pda is q0 in the beginning we are expecting the pda to read a when it reads the first a that time the stack is empty continue to stay in q0 push a onto the top of the stack so this is a very first transition rule now still the current state of pda is q0 itself it continues to read the second a when it reads the second a what is available at the top of this track already we pushed one a onto this track so a is available at the top of this track it continues to stay in q naught top of the track is a above that we are pushing one more a onto the track so these a's are pushed onto the track just to remember the count of a's what is kept in the input tape right and suppose if there is a third a fourth a fifth a this single transition rule is sufficient to read those a's correspondingly to put symbols onto the stack at one point from the state q naught it reads b when it reads b the top of the stack is a this is the first to b it reads that time the state is changed to q1 nothing to do with the top of the stack top of the stack is a above that we are not pushing any symbol this indicates there is no operation on the top of this track now the state of pda is q0 it continues to read the rest of the b's every time it reads b there is a at the top of this track it continues to stay in q1 and no operation on the top of this track from q1 after some time it reads the other half of the a's when it reads a again the top of the stack is a that time change the state to q2 whatever is available at the top of the stack must be replaced by epsilon in the sense this is equivalent to pop operation now from the state q2 it reads the rest of the a's on the right of b every time we expect the top of the stack must contain a continue to stay in q now q2 by popping whatever the symbol is available at the top of the stack after some point from the state q2 it would be reading epsilon that time the stack must go empty the state what the pda enters is q3 by retaining that z0 as it is if it enters a q3 it means the string whatever is kept in the input tape is recognized or accepted by the pda while designing any automata whether it is push down automata or finite automata or turing machine we keep in mind the strings that belong to the language we generally we in general don't worry about the strings that do not belong to the language if any string that do not belong to the language is kept in the input tape automatically the uh, uh, push down automata or finite automata whatever it is it does not know how to react for that particular situation then it abruptly stops okay now we see the transition diagram from q not if it reads a when the top of the stack is z not push a on to the stack if you observe very keenly i have written the second column third column and in the fourth column the second component separated by this okay if it reads a when the top of the stack is a we have to push a above the top of the stack symbol i have written these two transition rules by defining a self loop when the pd is changing its state from q0 to q1 when it reads the first b that time the expected symbol at the top of the stack is a there is no operation or no change in the top of the stack okay how long it will be in q1 by reading the rest of the b's there may be one b or there may be more than one b if there is more than one b it has to continue to stay in q1 itself that time also the top of the stack is a 
and there is no operation on the top of the stack. So, okay, from Q1, when it is getting changed to Q2, if it reads A, when it reads A, the expected symbol at the top of the stack is also A, pop that symbol. And it may continue to stay in Q2 by reading the rest of the A's. And every time when it reads A, the top of the stack also must be A, replace the top of the stack by epsilon. It is equivalent to pop operation. Okay. From Q2, the PDA is entering into the state Q3, which is the final state. When it reads epsilon, it means it reached the end of the string. That time, the stack must be empty. Z0 always indicates the emptiness of the stack. Retain that Z0 as it is and it is entering into the Q3. I hope you would have understood this problem. Instantaneous description of this problem we will see in the next video. Practice this problem thoroughly. Thank you.